Hello guys and welcome back to the game part. In this video I'll show you one crazy and forgotten gold farm. This guy mentioned this farm on my discord channel so I joined his group and we farmed it and it was great. But when we finished farming in a group I tried this farm solo and it was amazing. You can do this farm on a few ways and one of them is doing it solo. With this farm you can make lots of gold per hour farming. And you should get at least 50,000 gold per hour. But I think you will probably make at least 100,000 gold per hour farming. And now let me explain how to farm this place. This farm can be done on few ways. And first I will show you how to farm this place solo. As you can see in the video, in this farm you are going to kill these small dragons and you can skin them. These dragons will respawn very fast, all you have to do is to kill most of them in this area. And I recommend you to do this farm with skinning to maximize the gold making from this farm. These mobs will drop lots of grey and green items and they can drop rare pets. Just run around in this area, kill the mobs, loot them, skin them and that's it. Of course before you start doing this farm, learn vanilla skinning in your main city, install faster loot add-on to loot these mobs much faster and buy Dark Moon Fire Water Potion from the auction house to skin these mobs much faster. I will leave a macro for this farm in the description of this video. Of course this macro works for Druid and if you farm this place with other classes just run around and kill the mobs with spells you have. The only problem with this farm are these hills. Sometimes it's really hard to get from one point to another if you don't fly. This farm is located in Badlands, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. Just come to this spot, run around this hill, kill the mobs, loot them, skin them and that's it. You can do this farm without skinning, but if you do this farm solo, I recommend you to do this farm with skinning. If you skin those mobs, you will get lots of medium ladders, thick ladders, heavy ladders and rug ladders. All these ladders have good sell rate and good price, but thick ladder and heavy ladder have the best price. The price of those ladders is around 20 gold apiece on my realm and on EU. You will get lots of different ladders with good sell rate and good price. Of course you will probably get few dark whelping pets in one hour farming. For example I was lucky and I got 4 of them. Average EU price is 20,000 gold, even my loot appraiser Adam shows me 9,000 gold and they are 20,000 on my realm. You can sell this pet on this way straight from your bags and it will have this pretty high price. And you can sell this pet on another way. Right click on pet to learn it and then find it in your pet journal. Right click on him and put him in cage. When you do this uh, you will get it in your bags and you can sell it on the auction house on this way. Now pet will have less price but much higher sell rate. And that's why loot appraiser shows 9000 gold. Uh, with this farm you will get some interesting transmogs, uh, some raw gold, leathers and pets. For example you can get Blackforge items from Blackforge set. They have decent sell rate and good price. With this farm you will get lots of other useless greens and grays and you can just sell them to any vendor. On this way you will get around 1000 raw gold per hour here. With all these things from this farm, you should make from 60,000 to 100,000 gold per hour. Uh, these numbers are for farming this place solo and they are great. Of course, it will take some time to sell these items, but they should sell pretty fast, especially the ladders. And I want to mention that even on my realm, I have almost zero competition on these materials. In my realm is full populated realm. So try to do this farm as soon as possible and sell those materials from the auction house as soon as possible. Uh, but you can do this farm in a group, but on different way. Actually on three more ways. And they are all group farming ways. If you want to farm only the battle pads, you have to farm this place with the group full of druids. Without skinning and you will loot every 20 minutes. This battle pet is rare and if there is a drop of this pet on some mob, that mob won't despawn 30 minutes after you kill him. On this way you will have the highest chance to get the most pets possible from this farm but you will lose some green transmogs and you won't get the ladders from skinning. 
And to do this farm on this way, all you have to do is to take one spot in this farming area, spam a macro for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes loot everything. When you finish looting, get back to your spot and continue with killing the mobs. These are the spots and where the members of your group should stand and kill the mobs around them. Of course you need a group full of druids to do this farm on this way. If you want to do this farm in a group and you want to get some good transmox and drop gold, uh, then you can do the same thing but to loot every 2 minutes. So do the same thing, kill the mobs for 2 minutes, after that loot everything. When you finish with looting, get back to your spot and repeat. On this way you will get transmox, pets and some raw gold. And the third way of farming this place in a group uh, is to get pets, ladders and transmox. Just kill the mobs, loot them and skin them anytime you can. But try to skin only the mobs around your marker so everyone can do the same. Of course only if everyone has the skinning profession. I already sold most of the ladders in just one day and I'm pretty surprised. And because of that I recommend you to do this place with skinning. And if you want to do this farm solo, this farm is perfect for you. I actually had more fun doing this farm solo. I got around 100,000 gold worth materials and items in one hour farming, which is crazy. Of course, if you do this farm in a group you will probably get more pets but less or no ladders. Uh, so depends on what you want, uh, what profession you have and which class you play, you can choose what is the best way of farming this place for you. I know that most of you prefer solo gold farms and I think this farm is great solo gold farm which you can farm even if you don't have Shadowlands. I recommend you to try out this farm uh, one hour with skinning and then sell pets, ladders and transmogs on the auction house. You can farm this place few hours per week probably. But that depends on how fast you will sell mats and pets on the auction house. As I already said, I already sold the ladders in just one day. And don't worry if you don't have the maximum skill of your vanilla skinning. You will level it up pretty fast on this place, probably in 15 or 20 minutes. And guys, please don't forget to tell me in the comments how many pets and ladders you got per hour farming this place. Thank you guys for watching, a special thanks to my members for their support. If you want to support my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button and like this video. And of course if you want to support me even more and if you want to farm with me and get any kind of help from me, you can become an exclusive member of the game part. Thank you once again, good luck farming and see you in the next video.